one-of-a-kind statement pieces that mirrors its creator's love for all things Filipino. Get ready to be enthralled with Espejo ni Pingoy. I'm an advocate of ano, Filipino heritage. When I go around, especially in La Unlaan, Diba, may mga shops doon, they dismantle old houses. So I get pieces from there. Parang I want to be reminded of something from the past, from my Lola's house. One look at the director's beautiful home shows his love for all things Filipiniana. This and his penchant for creating beautiful objects eventually led to the creation of his first batch of espejos. First, I was thinking of what to give my host for Christmas, for boy and Chris. And I saw this mirror given to me by my interior designer friend. So I said, I'm going to do this. So yon, that's how it started. So I created two mirrors specifically for Tito Boy and Chris. After that, I made a few pieces. I enjoyed putting things together and make it into a mirror. And then a year after, people started uh, buying. Unique, resplendent, and always artistic, each Espejo ni Pingoy was lovingly created by the director himself with the help of his creative team. Direct Pingoy shares his design process. I buy ano muna, mga things, especially in Laon Laan, or sometimes I find materials at home, like old plates of my mom. In Laon Laan naman, I find pieces of um, mga ar architectural details of old houses. And then after that, I just keep it for a while. And then, yun, magkaka-idea na ako how to make it into a beautiful mirror. Yeah, I sketch also, but very roughly. I have workers. I have a team. I have uh, the one doing the brass, the pokpok, -pok, And I have two glass cutters. And fortunately, mga artists din sila. During his visits to Laong Laan and other repositories of rare and beautiful relics from the past, Direct Pingoy is always on the lookout for objects and furniture that possess eye-catching details that he can repurpose as focal points for his espejos. I love wood. Now I'm incorporating wood and brass. Plus, sometimes I make use of glass tiles. Actually, anything. A survey of his collection will reveal the director's leanings towards Art Deco, Art Nouveau, and of course, Filipiniana. Overall, Direct Pingoy describes his style as Eclectic Filipiniana. Personally, I want to be reminded of um, things from the past. Nakasi sayang because now parang like old Filipino Antillian houses, they dismantle it. Eh, diba? So, my way of uh, preserving it, parang I get pieces from that mansion. Tapos I make it into an espejo. Creating a single espejo entails hours of hard work, starting with the design process down to the painstaking process of layering the different materials that are needed to create Direct Pingoy's desired effect. The result, as writer Alden Kopuyok describes the director's artist's body of work, these are more than just mirrors. Each piece is unique and reflects not just the taste and visual aristocracy of Pingoy Generoso, but the ingenuity of the Filipino in contemporary design. Recently, kasi, my classmate from college uh, asked me to design for him. Siyempre, ako, I don't want to go away from my original concept of espejo. So I made something modern and yet may counting something from the past also so i put them together and it worked naman and when he hung it sa wall niya sa kanya modern interiors okay naman siya so i guess that's the advantage i think of my designs it can hang in any walls considering the sheer beauty and the untold hours of work behind each stunning piece how much does one need to shell out for an Espejo ni Pingoy original? I would like to think na it's it's reasonably priced. But you know, anything beautiful naman daw, it's uh, diba, 
expensive. But my Espejos naman, I think it's in the middle range. It's still affordable. Uh, when I sell my mirrors, kasi I tell them, it's like a painting. It's one of a kind. And it's an accent piece. Despite his busy schedule, directing TV shows left and right, Direct Bingoy always finds time for his other craft. For now, I guess I enjoy creating some more espejos. But to make it as a bi big business, I don't have any idea yet. For now, I'm enjoying having few clients. It's my stress buster actually. Exquisite pieces made of deconstructed antique objects. These mirrors will definitely lend an air of opulence in any room in your home.